So, good afternoon. I was supposed to talk at 14 hours and I had quite a number of issues that I wanted to, to talk about. Unfortunately, to be honest with you, there are times when, you know, I feel like I am just drained. I feel I can't, I can't, I can't function, you know? Ish. I mean, uh, of course, you know, when you look at a, a man like me at my age, uh, there are many issues that surround my life. Yeah, there are many issues that surround my life. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, I, I can't share much. I can, I can only talk, uh, you know. Yeah. And yes. Many times I, I have to, to be strong. I know I have to be strong. And sometimes I have to even, you know, talk. Even when I don't feel like talking. Uh, you know. But, yeah. Truth of the matter is that uh, sometimes I get overwhelmed. So, like, just like today. You know. I, I have these things that I want to talk about. But then, ah. Uh, you know, the emotions just get the better of me. You know, my life here, mostly, I don't do much, you know. Uh, most of the times, I'm just in here. And, uh, you know, I, I, I do a bit of exercises, you know, bath, uh, eat. You know, I don't, even, I don't even see the need to dress up, really. <laughs> most of the times, I'm just in these gowns, you know. I... Uh, yeah, yeah, but don't tell me, no, come back home. Uh, it's better off here. It's also like just like a prison, but at least I can be able to, you know, uh, I can be able to uh, eat, drink what I want. I can be able to make a cup of tea. I can be able to, you know, at least. So, uh, you can sympathize with me, but certainly coming back home is not an option because what awaits for me at home is nothing good. It's nothing good. I must also mention that I know uh, that Waaka in the is trying this and that uh, to get me. I am very much aware of all the plans. But some of these things, I cannot disclose them at this point. Uh, in due course, I'll be able to disclose. Uh, some of these things I can't disclose, but I know what is happening. I know even what will be happening on Monday. I know. But um, um, time will come. I strongly believe God will, let me, will not let me die here. Um, I believe that one day I'll be able to get back home. I I will I will get back home. I definitely will get back home. So yeah, that is me just saying. Fourteen hours. I don't think I can do. I'm I'm just sitting here. I watch movies now. I even watch movies. I watch series. Ah, yeah, cover. But yes, this life is not easy. But home is worse off. So I would rather be here. And just to mention, uh, I've just uh, read uh, that JJ's uh, sisters have been picked, which is quite unfortunate. And uh, that for me, it is a sign of the, ruthne the ruthlessness, the ruthlessness of President Haka in the Hichilema. He, he, he continues to torment his opponents and um, ah, ah, the man is just something else. Because those people now that they are picking and they are troubling, I mean, what? Eh? Why are you troubling those people? Why? For what? I mean, JJ's case was instigated by you. You are the people that abducted JJ. You abducted him. Afterwards, you incarcerated him. By the grace of God, he, he, he was rescued. 
and now you continue to torment other people. Sometimes you think to say, when will God act? When will God come to our aid? When will God come to our aid? Because yeah, this suffering sometimes is just too much. Eh? But anyway, I, me, I still have faith in God. And I know all these things, they happen for a reason. I'm here for a reason. And at the right time, God will reveal why some of us are going through this. And why we have Vaka Inde Ishilema as president going around boasting that he's a good leader. And yet the lives of many Zambians has gone uh, worse from the time that he came into power. Now you're even going to have 17 hours of load shedding, which of course has been there, when, especially when you talk about people in the compounds. They have been having, they have been going days without, uh, without electricity. So it is not that it is, it is going to start on the 1st of September. It has been happening in, um, in many areas. And um, look at the, the prices of commodities, look at the opportunities. I just, uh, somebody was just telling me, you know, like those people who supply to the army, they have stayed over a year, they have never been paid. So you can think of how are they surviving? How are they looking after their, 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 their children? Money is really, really hard in Zambia. And uh, even me, I feel it because, you know, you have got people that uh, are supposed to uh, pay you money. Uh, they're not paying. And uh, we are going through a lot of uh, challenges. A number of people don't have money. All because of the way Haka Inde Ichilema is running the country. He has messed it up. But Haka Inde Ichilema is saying Ed Galungu should shut up because he peed in the well. But Haka Inde Ichilema peed in the Zambezi River. He has peed in the Zambezi River. He has contaminated the whole, the whole rivers. You know, he has messed up everything. And he has the guts to say, uh, uh, Ed Galungu should shut up. Ed Galungu should shut up with what you have done. Vaka in the HDMI. When are you going to, you know, admit that you have failed? When are you going to humble yourself? Because that attitude that you have is that is why things are just even so bad. It is really a shame. And even those of you who support the who support Haka in the HDMI, you support him based on what? Based on what? Based on what? I mean, this man is a failure. He's a failure. And because of his, uh, his um, uh, bad performance, he's now fixing some of us. We are here not because we are criminals. We are here out of our country, suffering in other people's uh, 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 countries because our president doesn't want us to, to talk about the obvious things that are happening. Anyway, may God help us. But uh, I just wanted to tell you that uh, uh, and many times, yes, I pull myself, I pull myself, you know, put myself together and whatever, whatever. But yeah, I was sometimes like a kind of so then for 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 this afternoon, I'll just sit here, soak myself in my sorrows and emotions, and let the day go. Let the day go. Otherwise, please keep praying for 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 me and uh, keep keep supporting me like you do in any way that you can. Thank you for now.